Today we will be scanning the shoulder joint using the Konica Minolta ultrasound system. Attached to it is a 18 MHz linear transducer. We strongly recommend that the patient is facing the ultrasound system. Uh, many other uh, positions have been described in the literature, but uh, we think this way is the most practical one. The patient is sitting on a revolving stool or chair and this is easy so that we can maneuver also the patient if we would like to for the practicability of the ultrasound images. Placing the patient's arm in a supination and then placing the transducer ventral shoulder and searching for the bony landmarks. So now on screen you can see the intertubercular sulcus, the intertubercular groove, with on the left side the tubercular minus, the lesser tubercle, and the greater tubercle on the right side. Inside the intertubercular groove you can see a white mass. This is the long head of the biceps. Above the long head of the biceps and above both tubercles you can see a hypochoic uh, broad mass. This is the deltoid muscle and inside the deltoid muscle you see the muscle architecture. Attaching to the lesser tubercle on the left side you can see the subscapularis. Uh, this is not the area of interest now so we will focus only at the long head of the biceps. Following uh, the biceps down you will have to um, be careful that the uh, echogenicity of the biceps is correct and stays hyperechoic. So, because a little transducer uh, change of, of angle already changes the echogenicity. So like if you see here, I lift a little bit up the transducer and the image gets dark. So if I have a perpendicular scanning, then you will see that we have a nice hyperechoic depiction of the biceps and uh, also the other structures. So if we're going to follow the biceps down, make sure that the uh, uh, angle on the biceps tendon is always perpendicular. So keep the tendon nice, bright, wide and screen. So following the humeral shaft, then suddenly on the left side appears to be a long horizontal tendon. Now visualize the screen. This is the pectoralis major tendon, so the pectoralis, pectoralis major tendon, which is stabilizing the biceps to the humeral shaft. So following back up towards the intertubercular groove, the humeral shaft in the middle of the screen, now we can see the, the, the biceps going towards the shaft and there we have our bony landmarks again. Always be sure that the tendon has, is hyperechoic because otherwise you could mistake it for pathology.